What is good guys, back with game 2 between Kickass and Semiotic. I think that's gonna be a Zardwai team with Pursuit Trap, a Weewile, and if Weewile Pursuit Traps the Ladi in this game, Zardwai destroys these four with Flamethrower, and obviously each one gets 2 hit KO'd by Focus Blast. Now, I think this is gonna be a Spadef Excadrill with a Rocks Rapid Spin, Earthquake, and Toxic. Uh, protect SD Bulu with Horn Leech Superpower. Then a um, Slowbro with a little bit of Spadef investment, that way it can check Heatran decently well. Slowbro actually also wants the Mega Ladi in this game, if the Ladi doesn't have T-Bolt or Draco, those two moves are not that common on Mega Ladi. Usually it's Draco, Earthquake, Ice Beam and Roost. And then um, if Excadrill is the Rocker, the Heatran gets an extra move slot on Kick-Ass's team, so the Heatran can be a Magma Storm, Earthpower, Taunt Set, and the last move could be Toxic or could be an extra coverage move. So turn 1, I'm pretty sure this is a Scarf Land on Simulatic side, it's quite obvious. Probably a U-turn, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and then either Defog or HPIs in the last slot. And I think Semiotic is either going to U-turn or he could also pull a double out here. But he doesn't really have a double that covers the trend staying in and that covers the slow bro. Because if Kickaza has Protect, he can Protect turn 1 to scout if the lander wants to go for U-turn. If he doesn't have Protect, he has to go into slow bro. And he does go into slow bro, making me think that his Heatran doesn't have protect, and Semiotic just U turns. Yeah, protect would have been amazing for Kick Asser. So now, Semiotic has a few potential plays. Uh, either Clef or Tren is his rocker. Ferrothorn, Clef, or Tren is probably the play for Semiotic. Um, he has to prioritize rocks in this game because if he gets rocks up for the Zard, then his Megina can potentially win the game. I assume that's a shift game Megina. Um, let's see if the, we will see later if the Megina has Focus Blast because lately we have seen the Megina's run. Um, shift gear, comment, focus blast, flurken. Uh, if it's that set, Kickasa has to keep his Zardwai healthy to check that. And he should be good to go, especially if he can trap the Ladi. So let's see if he wants to go Clef, Pharaoh, or Tren. He does go into Tren. So this means two things. He either has rocks on this and he wants to get rocks up ASAP, or he threatens out the Slower with a potential Toxic slash Z Solar Beam. So Kickasa can go into his own heat run here if he really wants to, because that scouts for Toxic for Z Solar Beam. Um, yeah. But I think Semiotic is probably just going to get the rocks up. If Clef is the rocker, this is really bad for Semiotic because uh, Excadrill always spins on Clef and then Kickasa can keep rocks off. But yeah, Heatran is the rocker. So that makes a lot of sense. Now, we could see Earth Power exchange here. If Kickasa is Spadef Tren, he can definitely live off power. And weakening this Heatran would be good for Kickasa's Zard Y. Because then he only has to hit one focus pass with Zaldwai versus Heatran and not two. Um, yeah. So, like, if he earth powers here, that would probably bring Semiotic's um, Heatran really low. And then it's most likely in range from a Scald from Slowbro. Also, getting rid of the Heatran would be amazing because, uh, as you guys can see, earth power exchange, then no Heatran goes down. And I think now Kikasa just wants to go back into Slowbro because his Heatran is slower than the opposing Heatran. And even if this Heatran has Toxic from Semiotic, even if the Slowbro gets toxic, Unless he toxics the Slowbro here on the switch, he cannot stay in the next turn on the Slowbro. The Slowbro would force out the Heatran in the next turn with Scald. So I guess if Semiotic has toxic, I think he should go for it here, breaking the Slowbro to come out. Does he go for that? No, he just goes for Earth Power, because it was pretty obvious that Kikisa would go back into Slowbro. And now Semiotic has to switch out, because if he stays in and loses the Heatran to Scald, then the Excadrill can just spin and the rocks will be gone forever. So he had to go into either Ferrothorn or Clef. As he does go into Ferrothorn, Kickasa fishes for a burn and gets it. So now he can go into Excadrill here because he wants to get the rapid spin off. I think Semiotic should pull a double into like Landris or something that pressures the Excadrill. So Kickasa cannot just get the rapid spin off for free. Does he double? I'm pretty sure he didn't. Yeah, he just went for Leech Seed. I don't like that play too, too much. So now Kickasa can just spin which will get rid of Leech Seed and of the rocks. Um, Simulac has a few potential plays. He can knock off, he can spike, or he can switch out into Landris. But the Heatran is already weakened, and Excadrill is going to get the spin off here. And, and Heatran won't get that many more opportunities to go for rocks, so Zadwa is looking really scary in this game. Also, what I was going to say is, um, if Clef was the rocker, this would have been really bad for Simulac, because Excadrill always spins on the Clef kind of for free, especially if the Clef is lacking fire coverage. But yeah, Excadrill just goes for a spin and Semiotic throws up a spike. But yeah, as it, it turned out that the Heatran was the rocker, not the Clef. I just wanted to add that. I was going to say that earlier in the game. So now Kickasa throws up his rocks. The Ladi comes out. Obviously, um, Kickasa doesn't want to stay in here and let his spinner get low. He can probably go on the Slowbro here. Um, on the Earthquake. Like I said, if this Ladi does not have 
Draco or Tebow, both moves are quite uncommon. Slowbro should be able to wall it. And um, Ferrothorn is pretty obvious. Or Clef, does he double? Predicting that, he just scalds. I feel like there he could have potentially pulled a double out. Into like maybe Heatran because Heatran would have covered the Clef and the Ferrothorn. Um, but I guess this is fine as well. Double into Zarth would have also been a hard play right there. But yeah, now. Since the clef isn't the rock, I assume this is, um, I was gonna say a comment clef, but now he shows wish. Um, when Blunder used the si same six months in Smog Tours, his clef was CMT with Softball Moonblast, if I recall correctly. But uh, Semiotic um, just showed wish, so I assume he's a wish T with um, Moonblast, Softball clef. And yeah, he just uh, lets Clef get the wish, let's get back to full. Bulu eats it up with ease, and it's the leftovers, Bulky Bulu. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, team preview, most likely it's to protect as the only superpower set, and Clefable does not beat this at all. Well, I guess if he has T-Wave, he can go for that, but otherwise he has to switch out, as he does show T-Wave. So now kick I can just go for Horn Leech here. And Semiotic... Uh, his Heatran is quite low, but it should still be able to live as uh, Horn Leech, not superpower. Jay will deliver Horn Leech because it's 4 times resisted. And Heatran um, will also get health back. I think both Heatrans already showed that they are leftovers. So I think Kikasa might actually not have... Oh, he goes into Ferrothorn because it's burned, so he kind of doesn't... He doesn't... Like, it doesn't have that much value, I guess, in this game. So now, Superpower is quite obvious. As he does pivot into Ladios, predicting his Superpower. Gets the play right, and now he can just go for Roost with the Ladi, and ev eventually Grassy Terrain is going to end, and then Horn Leech doesn't do that much anymore. But yeah, what I was going to say is I don't think Kikasa has a Z move on his team unless he's Z move Weewile, which I don't think he is. Slowbro and Bulu and Tren, I think, all had lefties, and so had Exca, and Zard is obviously Mega. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure Simenic is just going to go for Roost here. Uh, I, I guess Beam is an option, but I don't think he's going to do that. So. Because he wants the Ladi healthy. Well, he kind of has to fear. He kind of has to fear Kick are going hard into the Weewall here. Like, hard into Weewall here is definitely an option. So he does go back in the Clef, uh, predicting the hard Weewall, exactly. Because if he, yeah, yeah, if he went for Roost the uh, recover, the Weewall would have came out and been um, fine, free to trap him. And yeah, this obviously forces Kick Ass out. Uh, yeah, Excadrill can come out here, so. Simeonic could just throw up a wish if he wanted to, or he could pull a double to try and predict the Excadrill. Yeah, Excadrill is pretty free here for kick guys. So does he pull a double or does he just throw up a wish? He just throws up a wish, so he can pass this wish into his... I uh, most likely Landris here. Uh, kick guys, I can either go for Rapid Spin. Yeah, I think Rapid Spin is just a play. That way he gets some extra leftover recovery. Uh, Simiatic is not gonna stay in here because he can't do anything. There's Excadrill, he just passes the wish into Landris, as I figured he would, and I think we just see a rapid spin, yeah. And some leftovers on the drill are nice because that helps him check McGeehan up better, and now he's obviously gonna switch out. Goes hard into Zard. Uh, on the defog, he gets the play right, but that was still risky because Simiatic could have potentially gone for Edge there. I'm pretty sure this Landris does have Edge because this team is really weak to Zard wise. So I assume he just click Flamethrower. Simiatic went into La uh, Heatran. Uh, he didn't go into Ladi because he was fearing kick as a doubling into the Weewile, I think. And now, um, I, is he going for the Focus Blast dodge? I get, no, he can pivot back, yeah. He can pivot back into Landris here because that covers the Focus Blast. So if you kick Asa here, would you... I don't think you would Flamethrower again because that's risky. Like, let's say Simulatic just goes for the dodge and if you Flamethrower, you look like a fool and the rocks go back up. So I think kick I might just go into Slowbro here. Because Slowbro covers the um, the Landris and it covers the Heatran staying in. But he does Focus Blast and he misses, okay. Like, if Focus Blast missed it, it could have been bad if Simulator got the rocks up. But yeah, um, now obviously he has to switch out here on a potential Stone Edge. Into either Slowbro or Excadrill. Goes into Excadrill, knowing that the Stone Edge is going to come out. Now Excadrill can throw the rocks back up and Simulator is forced to switch here. Uh, what is he even going to go to? The, I think the Ladi also didn't heal, so the Ladi is weakened already, which means it cannot switch well into Zard's Flamethrower anyway. And yeah, the threat of Weeball is also still there, so like he never really wants to bring the Ladi out. I think the Ladi might be in range from Excadrill's Earthquake. So what does Simiotic even go to? I mean, he can go Clef and throw up a Wish because this Excadrill doesn't run Iron Head, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, he does go into Clef. There's the Earthquake because it hits everything and he knows that the Landers has to switch out. I think Rock still would have been fine as well. Earthquake doesn't do much to the Clef because this drill is a bulky variant. Now, 
think Simiatic is just gonna throw off a wish because he can't really do anything else and I guess I can just get the rocks up for free. Okay, he goes back into Lerner's anticipating rocks. And now, um, obviously, Kikesa doesn't want to stay in and risk losing the Excadrill. Thum is just going to go into his slow brawl. There's no reason to go Zard and risk it on a Stone Edge. Like, earlier he brought Zard in once on the Landers, but then he knew that Simiatic would go for Defog. But yeah, this time, he goes into slow brawl instead. I completely agree with that. Like, earlier he risked it once already, which I would not have done, but it worked out for him, so I can't say anything. So there's a really free skull. He's... he's what? He stone edges again, which I, don't th I think is a misplay. I mean, I get what he w tried to do. He tried to predict his double into Zard, uh, because the Ferrothon or the Clef could have came out. So if he doubled into Zard, there, Zard got kind of got a kill. But like, Kegaza doesn't have to double into Zard. Like he can just play it safe. So um, Simiatic is gonna softball here or wish, probably softballed, since that scald crit brings him low. And yeah, Kegaza was free. Like he didn't go into Zard there because he's fearing, um, I think, Tibo from the Clef. I don't know if it revealed... Oh yeah, it already revealed clear T-Wave T the bull early. So does he super power break in the switch? No, we will never know because he gets paralyzed right there. And now Hedron obviously wants to go for rocks as Kickassa knows that he's going to throw the rocks up and just super power it. And even if he magma storm, Kickassa could have lived one because this is a spadef bulu. And he obviously knew that Simiatic wants the rocks up because the Zardway is just such a big problem for Simiatic. So now... Um, what Kegeza has to do here is he has to switch out into Excadrill just to get off the rapid spin. Like his Heatran is quite low and his Excadrill also cannot hurt the Megina that well because his own grassy terrain makes it so Megina can actually eat earthquakes. Uh, I assume Sh Shifke might come out here from uh, Simiatic and he's gonna attempt to sweep with the Megina. If he has the right set, uh, if he's T-Bolt, T-Bolt Focus Blast, they might actually be able to win the game. Um, with like Z Focus Blast or Z T-Bolt. If he has like, he could be shift gear, three attacks, he could be shift gear, calm mind. But uh, if he's the Flurken focus blast set, then the Zard white checks this. Because kick Hazard just has to rapid spin here. There's no point in earthquaking because the grassy terrain is up. So what he has to do is go rapid spin. Next turn the terrain will end, which means earthquake will do more again. Or he could also go into his um, Zard wider next turn after he rapid spins. Uh, what does Simiatic go for here? If he's three attacks, he's gonna go for Focus Blast. Um, if he doesn't have T-Bolt, he has to get multiple Calm Minds up to um, Oko Zard. I think he needs... Like, if he doesn't have T-Bolt, if he's only a Calm Mind variant with um, Shifke Focus Blast, then he needs multiple boosts. But he does just hard Focus Blast knowing that the uh, Rapid Spin is gonna come out. And it does not kill. If he was a uh, Phytinium, he would have bobbed the Excadrill there and rocks would have stayed on the field. And then he might have actually been able to win if he was Fight Z. But I assume he's either Fairy Z or Alex Z. Uh, he's probably Fairy Z. Because he has ways to deal uh, with Toxapex, so he doesn't have to be Electrium. Uh, even though Electrium wouldn't be bad on this team either, I think. But that's not too to come in Electrium, so I think he's just Fairy Z. Either 3 attacks or command, we still don't know that. 5 seconds left, don't time out my guy. So now that he got the Rabbit spin off, he goes in the Zard. He obviously didn't want to stay in there because then Megina would have gotten a Soul Heart boost and he would have sacked the Drill for no reason. So there's the Calm Mind. It's unlikely that he has Focus Blast. He comments again, confirming, I mean, T-Bolt. It's unlikely that he has T-Bolt. Commenting again makes it so he can live a Flamethrower. And now he goes for a Z. Is it Fairy Z? It is Fairy Z in Zard, where his great speed and is able to live that. Gets rid of the Megina, and now Kikasa just wins this game, I think. Zard can still roost. Well, it only roosts on the Ferrothorn. So Ladi comes out. Well, if Kikasa really wanted to, he could try to sack something here. Uh, like, he doesn't need his Excadrill anymore. I think he can try- Oh, he goes hard into Weaver, knowing that this usually don't run Draco. What if he had- what if he had Draco and went for it there? <laughs> well, it probably doesn't Oko, actually, so that was a fine play, yeah. Hard Weaver was a fine play, okay, I gotta take that back. Well, unless HP Fire kills, which even HP Fire is uh, not that common on Megalody. So, I thought the Crash misses there. He didn't go for Pursuit, which makes me think maybe he's not Choice Bandit. Because if you Bandit, I think he would always pursue there. So this Weaver might be, um, what is the Weaver? Scarf? Or Z-move? Like, I think I've seen this team used on ladder, and I think Weaver actually was Scarf on one of them. But it might also be Z-move, I'm really not sure. But yeah, now... <clears throat> Moonblast. So Heatran can go for Taunt here just to play it safe. 
Nightmare Storm is also play, but just Taunt is the safest play because you obviously don't want to get um, you don't want to get T wave from the Clefable, so that was the correct play. And now he's free to click Magma Storm and trap the Clefable in. I think he does have Magma Storm. I don't remember if he revealed it yet. Yeah, Magma Storm is super free here, and Ladius will take Rocks plus Magma Storm Chip plus Secondary After Effect, which forces Ladi to heal Kanda. Well, he might just hard attack here because. Uh, he doesn't want to let the Weeble in for free. Let's see if he attacks. No, he just recovers. And now he just goes for a knockoff. And that doesn't that doesn't kill, confirming that he's not banded. Like I don't think that's banded. I think banded would have killed. Because it's Mega Ladios and not Ladias. And he goes for a knockoff again and not for pursuit. So he is he is choice locked, Weeble. Like I'm pretty sure he's choice locked. Because otherwise he would have pursued it there and gotten rid of the Ladi. So he obviously switches out. Double back into Ladi, dies to rocks, doesn't matter. This game is over. I don't know if Simiatic could have played it different. Like, I think it was a hard matchup and Kickers have played it fine. Uh, if I go into detail and look over every turn, I'm pretty sure there's probably something that could have been played different. But like, it's cool to see Zardwai and see Zardwai put in work, especially. Like, in theory, Zardwai killed everything, but unfortunately, it didn't really kill everything in this game. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Kickers wins 2 0 versus Simiatic. Uh, like I said in the earlier video, if you have any questions about how this tournament uh, format works, it's um, I can just explain, you just ask me in the comments. And I'll see you guys with the next series, um, or with another Snake Draft game, I'm not sure what I will be uploading next. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, and peace out friends. Yeah, also if the Magina had any different coverage, it could have easily won the game, like... T-Bolt Focus Burst, I don't think that's a set or common at all, that would have won, right? No, t -Bolt Focus Blast would have been walled by the Bulu, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, it's rough for... Uh, that was rough for Simiatic.